Welcome back to the channel guys. We are still at the wonderful Costa Navarino Resort here in Greece. Today we're talking about a short chip just run over the back of the green. We've got a front flag here not too far on. We've got a slight obstacle. We've got a couple of sprinkler heads so running it in low and up to the to the flag is going to be a little bit of a lottery. Wouldn't want to get too much involved with that. So we've really got this landing area in and around the fringe to a slightly short flag side. We've got a bit of a backstop, the slope is coming at us. So that's certainly something that we can take into account when we're choosing the club. I've got my friend and super player, Mr. Cooper, joining me for this one. Welcome along, Simon. Thank you very much. Simon plays off scratch, so a formidable golfer in his own right. We've not done too much wrong here. We're going to imagine that we've been playing to this back flag. We've pitched it a touch too far and it's rolled and it's caught the slope and we're, mm. we're down at the bottom here. The ground's a bit moist, not nice. Mm. It's a little bit early in the season as well, so there's not probably the covering that we would, we would all want to see, a nice sat, one sat up, but it just makes it just that little bit more tricky, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. So we've got the short-sided uh, shot. We've got our sand iron. Something that you might use. What club would you? Or would, yeah, I would, think. What would you see? I think because there's, there's still a little bit of, as you were saying earlier, we can't we can't take it low. Uh, actually, with this kind of ground as well, if you take it low, it, it absorbs a little bit. You don't know whether it's going to bounce on or not. So I would always be looking at this, going right. I want to land it on the green because yeah. you know what the ball's going to do with that. So um, certainly, yeah, from here with a bit of room there. If the flag was a bit tighter, I might go lob wedge. But with the flag there, they definitely go sand wedge. Yeah. Well, this is sand iron. Now, if you saw Simon uh, in the short-sided lob shot, uh, his first shot, he hit the flag. So I'm hoping he doesn't do that again. It's all right, um, it's a complete fluke. <laughs> <laughs> so talk us through a bit of technique here. Where's, where's the ball position going to be? Is it going to be forwards or back? Well, I mean, I'd play this like a long chip. So I, I play all my short game shots like chip, new putting grip. Okay. I did that. So I'd be, I always play those pretty central. Yeah. Okay. Um, would, and would adjust the club rather than mess around too much with gotcha. the setup. Yeah. Um, so yeah, very, very, very neutral. It's a fairly narrow stance. Um, central strike. I'd get a feel for where that strike point is with my practice swing. So seeing right, yeah, that's the strike point with the turf and then use that as a reference to set up with. So you are actually physically using your putter grip on this chip shot? Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. All right. Just because yeah, you know, quite for me it quietens the hands down. I don't want them getting all active. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, and then I'm really looking at saying right, where where do I want to where do I want to land it? So I want to land this couple of feet onto the green and then just let it gently run out, break it a left, drop I, in softly. Uh, straight perfect. in. Yeah. I look forward to seeing it, Simon. I really do. I really do. Let me come and stand around here so we get make sure the viewers get a good view of this full shot in here. Okay. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. That's a great shot. Yeah. That's a great Take shot. That. Got to be pleased with that, Take right? Take that as a first go. Yep. Well, I'll quit while I'm ahead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. Um, so, look, I, I, I think, again, Simon, if you've followed a few of the other shots, he, he's someone that likes to take hand action out mm. of the shot. And I think that's probably a common theme with lots of golfers. Um, that dead wristed, dead handed approach is, is one that feels like it it offers up the most security, doesn't it? The worry that I get is, is when we take out energy in our levers, we've got to put energy in somewhere else. Mm. And for me, again, I, the knees look like they were trying to give way a little bit mm. down at strike. Now, when you, with total respect, of course, no, that's right, that's clearly it. a very good shot and they played it nicely. I just worry when you, you, you play a bad one where it leaves you and, and moving forwards. What I would like to see is, is as saying with the with the lob shot and really a lot of the shots, that that feeling that the ground isn't going to get closer to us. As soon as we get short sided or if we get any sort of chip shot where the ground is not forgiving, it's wet and a bit and even the grain is into us. It's so easy to not want to go into the ground, and so the club starts to get a little bit quicker, the handle starts to get a little bit quicker and the levers start to get a little bit out of sequence. So locking it all down is your way of overcoming that. For me, I like to see we've still got the golf club is able to set and unset. The reason for that is because that allows us to have still a decent angle of attack. Not a heavy one, but still feel like we've got some downstrike and doesn't make me feel like I'm going to want to go down to the floor with it. The other thing that we see in, in short game shots is that we tend to get a little quick. Now, 
if you watch some of my other videos, you can see and appreciate that the handle is the light end and this can move super fast. And when it moves super fast, as soon as that handle starts to get accelerating past us, that head gets left behind and the face gets left open. And now we will feel as good players, the face pointing left and that's when it starts to fire down at the bottom. So for me, I'm trying to feel like this golf club has still got some swinging swing in it at the bottom of the ball, easy for me to say. Ball position, again, is very much going to dictate the height and flight that I want to see. If I wanted to see a higher one, I'd nudge it forwards. Pressure is still in my left leg. If I wanted to see a high one, I'd allow the golf club to swing and we can see how that ball actually hit the hole. Bit of flight there and so is a much softer shot. If I then put the ball back in my stance, I still feel exactly the same sensation and now all of a sudden the ball comes out much lower and now starts to roll up the green. So how I'm using my levers remains almost consistent. I'm feeling like I'm allowing it to set and unset and just depending on where I meet the ball in the arc, if it's early in the arc back, you can see how it comes out low and forwards. If I allow the golf club to swing and I meet it later in the arc, all of a sudden I get a much higher and softer flighted shot. So the levers feel like they're still doing the same thing, but I'm very conscious of the head end, of the yeah. weighted end of the golf club that's allowing itself to swing down at the bottom. You've got to understand that there's a balance of power that we get the club swinging and unloading. So the club must set. It can't not set or else the angle of attack would be super, super shallow. Now, we saw when you played your shot, you definitely had set, but it mm. felt like you had little set. It felt like you were playing it absolutely like a putter. And of course, we can see that was slightly drop kicked. We didn't have that angle of attack that we would need mm. to make a good strike. As soon as I create a little bit more set and unset, all of a sudden I can get some angle of attack into the back of the ball and feel like I can get some precision in there. So I think what you feel is one thing and, yeah, yeah. and what actually happens mm. is another. And that's the, the world over with great players, right? I mean, that's kind of what you do. Do you practice your short game much? I take a lot of chance to. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoy it when I can, um, but not really. Uh, it's something I've, um, yeah, it's a, I play that there's a, there's a short game area, but it's about a five minute drive away from the clubhouse. So it's, it's not something I get the chance to practice an awful lot. Um, and now I'm playing less, I like to get on the course and play. So, yeah. so I do neglect it somewhat. Yeah. And I think that's a common trend for a lot of golfers, isn't it? it mm. It's turn up in the, in the car park with mm. the shoes on, maybe a couple of chips, maybe a couple of putts into the first, yeah. first tee. So it's a, it's a difficult one. So to round up and give you some insights into how I'd like to see you play it, I think moving the ball around to adjust the flight of the shot is a key component and understanding how we must keep using the angles and the swinging element of the golf club to allow that club to create energy at the bottom of the ball because as soon as you start to really appreciate how this golf club can swing at the bottom you'll start to feel the energy go up in the head which will then stop you from feeling like you've got a yank on the handle to create the energy so hopefully as usual you'll have appreciated that this my friends is good coaching big thanks to simon for joining me if you've liked the video hit the like button share and subscribe with your friends and i look forward to seeing you as usual on the next one